Hi, uh, my name's Mark Bennett from uh, markbennettguitar.co.uk. Um, this is um, the second of my uh, online um, uh, video lessons for, for beginners um, and intermediate players that want to backtrack and um, make sure their te technique is good. Um, today we're going to look at um, single note, a couple of single note exercises. Um, in my um, private lessons, I, I get people moving on on playing single notes as well as chords in lesson from lesson one. Um, the first part of this exercise is is um, something that I do cover in lesson one. Um, okay, um, it, it's it's enabled to enable you to to play um, fluid lines like we've just seen in the clip before. Um, the important thing in here is being able to develop. Um, flexibility in your fingers, um, coordination between left and right, um, and you'll slowly be able to build your um, your technique and your speed, um, which enables you then to play whatever you want to play um, in a musical context. Uh, nothing worse than being limited by your by your technique. Okay, um, we, we we're going to assume. Um, a couple of things at this stage. Firstly, that um, a you can hold your pick, okay, um, and b that you're quite um, um, proficient with alternate picking, um, just um, constant up and down strokes, and being able to move across the strings. Um, we're, assu we're assuming that. Um, so this is um, a an exercise to get um, the left hand moving in coordination with the right. Okay, so starting on the bass string, um, on the sixth string. We're going to uh, start with the open string. We're going to play um, four consecutive frets with the open string to start one beat on each. So this is going to go something like this, alternate picking. So here we go. That's, that's the exercise um, in its simplest form. Um, that's then going to be repeated across the strings. Um, several things to watch here. Firstly, hand position. Um, you want to make sure that your fingers are on what I would call on tiptoes. Nice little reference, um, fairly self-explanatory. We want to make sure that your thumb is in a fairly viable position behind the neck um, and that you've got space under the, um, under the fingerboard so that you're not hugging, hugging the neck like this in a grippy fashion. Um, so um, on that note again, and we start with the downstroke with the right hand. So here we go. We're going to go. I'm going to move it across the strings now to show you the pattern. Then open on the next string. Down to one and open on the next string. Long legato notes and back to the second string when we hit the top. Etc. All the way back down, all the way back down to the to the sixth string. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things that you can do there once you master the basics of that. Um, the first thing I would say is to, to make sure you do that slowly and in control. Um, so don't dive in full on. Um, even if, you, if, you, if you're new to single note playing, um, very, very slow to start, something like this. Nice clean notes, no rattles, no buzzes. And try and make sure with your right hand you're doing the alternate picking 
nice control fashion, again with no buzzes as the pick passes through the vibration zone of the string. Okay, and now um, once you've got the basics at that kind of speed, <coughs> it's, it's a very good exercise and I'll move on with this um, later in future lessons um, in other contexts. But to be able to accelerate from a very slow and steady pace through to as fast as you can go is, is an, invalu an invaluable practice aid. Um, it's not something that you'll encounter in a musical context um, on a regular basis, um, an acceleration, but it, it really creates a, um, a really acute sense of tempo, um, which is invaluable because that's probably your most important skill to have is a metronome-like ability to stay on the time. This will help your awareness of that. So I'll just demonstrate it, starting slow and accelerating to, to, to as fast as you can go, really, so. So um, the first part of the exercise, I call that um, um, an open string exercise. Um, we can do the same thing in a closed position. Um, that first exercise you will note um, subconsciously that that's got a 4-4 feel. Um, if I count it um, against a beat, so it's going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then next string, second bar. This next exercise is <clears throat> we're going to do the same, if in effect the same pattern, but starting at the, for sake of argument, the seventh fret. Um, because we're not going to play the open string here, this is going to have one less beat. So this is going to create um, a three feel, um, like a waltz, so I'll count, or a six eight feel, depending on how you want to count it. Um, if I count two lots of three to come in, and then I'll demonstrate this. And something we can do here as well, we can get to the top end and we can drop down a fret and come back a semitone down so we can move across the fretboard um, coming down one semitone at each end. Um, I'll demonstrate it slowly first and then gradually accelerate. So here we go. So it's one, two, three, two, two, three. Down to two and down one fret. transition and then start to accelerate. Um, a couple of other things to watch, which I will have covered in uh, in subsequent lessons, um, uh, which will, you would need to master before trying this one, really. But um, is the um, the bracing the right hand? So um, if I just demonstrate here, um, I'll just do that again. We're just resting um, the the upper fingers of the uh, of the right hand on the strings. Um, some you'll see guitarists playing in a million different different styles. This is what I tend to try and teach because it works for me. Um, and it seems to work for most people. So it's gently resting um, second, third and fourth fingers on the strings or on the body of the guitar as you move down. So if I just demonstrate that from, from this angle, you'll be able to see that. So the same exercise again. Etc. 
etc. So if you um, work that up slowly, <coughs> nice long legato notes, try and avoid the staccato clipping that you will get if you try and go too fast too soon. Um, have fun with that and um, hopefully you'll see your lead playing and any other single note um, playing that you do come on no end. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.